All right, round three. This is going to take forever. Upload. Just forever. Um, yeah. So. There's a lot of things attached to this talk. I was talking about, um, at the end of the last video, I was talking about um, being the universe. Okay. Um, I think it's a pretty important thing. It's important enough that I should get it right. I'll say it. You know, I've heard now, now I've heard it from a lot of different people. But I originally got the inspiration for the name from uh, Carl Sagan. I think he played the biggest role in it. You know, and he said that uh, we are. Um, See if I can get this word for word. For the universe and know itself. We are. We are what? For the universe to know itself. I hope some of you. No, um, but I I had my I had my username long before. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, Melody Sheep made a video. Where the heck am I? Oh, I gotta go back this way. It's a different path. Oof. Almost feels like they've changed the graveyard around. Quite a bit since I was here last. But it is pretty dark. Um, no, we are we are the opportunity for the universe to know itself. We are the I want to say responsibility, but I know that that doesn't sound right at all. We are the responsibility of the universe to know itself. We are the possibility for the universe to know itself. Hmm. But anyway, I'm thinking of um, hearing hearing it now. Uh, in my head is the bit from Melody Sheep. Like the, you know, if you ever listen to Melody Sheep, uh, a, a music video on Carl Sagan. You know, the, the whales, making a whale song. If you ever want to build an apple pie from scratch, first you must create a universe. That sort of thing. But that all came from Cosmos. And uh, when I was pretty young, I just caught little bits of Cosmos on PBS. But I wasn't hugely into it up until junior high. I think that was about um, when I, uh, I I was talking with a science teacher about astronomy. And I think he loaned me a video uh, which was uh, like, uh, I can't remember how many episodes of Cosmos, but they were all on uh, one VHS. Four or five. But uh, he had a whole bunch more. And later I wound up bar borrowing them all. 
And uh, sad to say, I did not return. You know, just for, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of the never ending story, though. You know, I almost think like that. That, that guy, I, it was a bookstore, a library. Um, he wanted Sebastian to take that book. You know, he was important. Maybe, you know, maybe not. Maybe he wanted it for himself, but he also knew. You know, and in order for that to go on and on, you know, the whole idea is that somebody else has to pick that book up, you know, whether it's after your death or while you're still alive. The story must be read. Um, it's the beauty of it. But uh, in this case, I'm thinking, you know, VHS, you can make a copy. Somebody went out there and spent whatever it is, like $110 um, to get all the episodes of Cosmos. And, uh, and then they transferred them to the VHS. And it might have been him. It might have been that science teacher. Or it might have been somebody before him who just happened to have a bunch there. And those were not getting put to use. So letting me borrow them. Um, I don't know, probably, you know, I mean, it's more important, a couple of VHS tapes or an individual, um, I don't know, is there an argument to be made for the VHS? I don't know, well, this is really difficult to walk, oh, when it's so dark. I have not done this in a very long time. <coughs> no, you would, you should say the individual. But, if you were Japanese, and it was your job to get the cannon on the hill, I don't know where I heard this story, but, I guess a lot of people gave their lives just to move piece of equipment. Where the frig is this flickering coming from? The police officer must have pulled somebody over somewhere. Seen some flickering. I'll try to share it with you, but you probably won't be able to see it. Or you probably won't. The reflection on the trees. Maybe if I looked up the road, though. Uh, currently, I am... I just walked through uh, the cemetery. Well, you know, on the bike path, and uh, I am at Sci Tech Park. I love that name, even though it's not spelled like science and technology. Uh, it's S Y T E K. I'm really sure. Sci Tech. Sci Tech. But I, it always reminds me of science technology. I love the name. Oh. Talked about a lot of things. I'm all over the place. Uh, subject and uh, bipedally. Also, this water is horrible. I realize why it's 50 cents. It tastes... I don't know. Plus, combined with the smell, there is some weird... I think it's probably... Uh, probably got a low-pressure system. And so... Some of the organisms are releasing... You know, this is an opportunity for organisms to communicate with each other. Sure, go over here. I wish I had a cigarette right now. And coffee. Coffee and, and, and tobacco. But, uh, yeah, right now. Out there in the water. You know, I kind of realize uh, that those those things, tobacco and coffee, 
probably not good for me. These uh, dependencies. I've heard other people say it before, and that might be why I'm thinking it now, but for the longest time I just, you know, thought that's the way I was going to be then. Drink your coffee, smoking cigarettes. But if things change, if I changed, if, uh, if I stopped using them, I might, I might get a better, better life. I might be healthier. I might be more regular. I might you know. I don't know. Probably I'm just tired. It's like 2.30 a.m. I've been, I shift my schedule forward a couple hours every day. I mean, I don't know when it was that I recorded the last video, maybe two days ago, three days ago. But I woke up at 6 a.m. then. I'll probably wake up at about 10, maybe later. So, just, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. I really wish I could share the things that I'm seeing with a camera. I need to get a better, better camera. Where could we go? There's a few places open right now. I'll get some energy. Maybe fruit, vegetables, soda, sugar. I don't want that. Milk, bread, or something. A tomato. Just give me a tomato. Maybe that's what I should do. Let me back to the two largest grocery stores in town. They're not really in town. Might as well be though. I just need some energy. Cup of coffee. And I don't like smoking other cigarettes. I don't like getting my nicotine any other way. Oh. Oh. I think. Yeah, it's about. I'm trying to think of all the types of cigarettes and cigars and stuff. They all make me feel different. Not a big fan. Why am I doing this? Why am I recording this? Am I going to upload it? I saw napalm. 
I heard napalm. Edible napalm. Um, he was... He was hanging out with Asian adult. Maybe you know those people. Maybe you don't. But, uh, anyway. He was talking about... He feels weird when he ends a video. I totally understand because it's like a conversation. You know, and it's it's kind of disrespectful to the other person. Once you're used to it. Or maybe that's just for big Big softies who just want friends. <laughs> I could get some uh, green goo. Oh. From Bolt House Farms. That stuff's got quite a bit of sugar in it. And I wish I could show you... Uh, Vega, Vega right now, the way it's flickering. It's pretty amazing. It's kind of low, low in the west right now. Not real low. Um, oh, hi, up. Um, maybe 30, maybe 30 degrees. Oh, oh, gosh, I said this is, I used to be really good at this. Looking up at the zenith, looking down at the horizon, figuring out, you know, with a degree of certainty, very high degree of certainty. How many? But I'm not really sure if it's like 15 to 20 or if it's more like 30. It's not 45, that's for sure. 30 would be a third. That's pretty close to 30. But the thing about the horizon is you got the trees, you got the um, atmosphere and everything. So it just kind of, you know, varies. Plus, I'm, there's a big structure. I'm sitting on the picnic table at SciTech Park right on the river. And uh, there's a pavilion next to me and it's right next to that. Kind of a juxtaposition uh, out over the bridge, and this bridge's name, I'm pretty certain it is the. Is it the Fletcher Bridge? I think it may be the Fletcher Bridge. Yeah. Yet another thing with the Fletcher's name on it, not people. But, uh, I think, uh, it is. um, so, but the bridge, the view from right where I'm sitting, um, the bridge is pretty low to the horizon. I would say maybe five to ten degrees above the horizon, but the building and the tree, the tree between the building and the bridge, um, uh, they go up, the tree goes up about 45 degrees, and the big is just below the, the roof, the peak of the roof. Why am I telling you this? Why am I saying this? I'm going to say this to a camera. Let's let's pretend like I'm not a video on YouTube. 
when I'm a person. I have a freaking phone in my hand. I'm tired. Turn the hat on. Oh man, my heels too. When I went on my trip to Tennessee, I got this massive blister. Massive blister on my heel. Or not on my heel, but on my uh, the ball of my, my right foot. And I didn't pop it. I just let it. I thought it was going to become a callus. But, nope. It was a callus for a few weeks. Uh, after the few weeks, and it wasn't a, a blister anymore. But now, now it's a gigantic hole in my foot because, I, you know, one of the showers I took, uh, the skin started crumpling a bunch. I guess some water. I, probably that's what happened. It broke. It finally just a little tiny bit broke. So. Some air and some water got in there. And uh, then it started bugging me. I was trying to walk around. And uh, so I just pulled it off. It's really thick, though. The skin is really thick. And, um, but not only that, but because I had that blister, I was walking funny on my foot. And walking funny like that, wound up ripping on a sneak. Water flowing. Can't really tell where to or where from. In or out. Oh no, I know. This is uh, coming from like uh, part of the stream that comes from Mud Lake. I think, or the springs over by Walmart and Myers. But they're running, that's one of the spots where that stuff runs into the, <coughs> runs into Thunder Bay River. Um, so I ripped, ripped my heel. Some, some tendon or some muscle, something in, in my right heel. Just because I, I had the blister and I was walking funny with the blister. So then changing the way that I was walking because of the blister wound up causing damage to my muscle and the heel of my foot. Ugh. Not a big deal. So generally I don't even think about it at all. You know, it's, a, it's a stupid walk. Joys of being, being a person, being ignorant, not knowing. You either gotta know a lot or you don't know anything at all. It just is. Anywhere in between, and you're not satisfied. Because you, you're not happy in that ignorance, and you're not content with a lack of knowledge. Once you got some knowledge, you just want more. You gotta have all of it. You gotta know everything. Otherwise, you just can't be happy. It really sucks. I thought it was much closer. Just realize how far away I am. Hobbling. That's a good one, though. This is the Besser Credit Union. Oh, excuse me. And then over here is the good one. I don't think they're religious. Although the 
goodwill towards men. You know, maybe something there. Goodwill. Who knows? Do all charities, places like this. They all have to be religious. No. Gosh, that screaming. It's freaking me out. I hope whatever that screaming sound is. It's like a bird talking to another bird. Because in my head, it sounds like like a dying mammal, like a small mammal being swallowed by a giant cobra or something. Python. Now hiring. All right, Goodwill is, Goodwill is hiring. Donations in the back. Oh man. Ambulance. Ambulance, please. Transport me. Yep, Orion's up. Freaking winter, folks. Can you see Orion in the sky? It's freaking winter. I love like in just past the summer solstice, you can just begin to catch a glimpse of Taurus and Orion um, in the morning sky. Uh, I see Taurus. Sun to be in Taurus in May, so yeah, June. June, June, June. Who's June? What am I looking at here? We got Taurus, Cancer. We got freaking. I got diabetes and cancer because of you. Uh, I'm losing it. Gosh, I love this. If I get like just a second, second wind, that's not quite right. Quite right. Second. Um, come on, we gotta come up with a name for it. I don't think a name exists for this. It's not a wind. But you know, when you start getting loopy, you start getting tired, but then all of a sudden you get a little bit of energy back. Yeah, it ain't no wind. That's for sure. Second light. More like a second light. That's what it is. Express Business Center. What the heck is this? Edward Jones. What the hell? Oh. Subway, though. Subway's still in the same place. Oh, weird. It's a weird little strip mall. They're still getting business, so I don't be getting jacked downtown. FedEx Authorized Ship Center, Express Business Center. Ah, it's just one of those types of places. I got some of these PO boxes. Door open. Door is open. Yeah, I got PO boxes. Got freaking stars. On. Yeah, I can have one of these stars. Is that, is that stealing? I would be stealing. I won't take the star. I just kind of. But maybe they're like giving them away. No, it's a decoration. Don't take the stars. Star Wars keys here. Disney. Below Star Wars. Let's put Alpina on the map. Dude, I'm pretty sure Alpina was on the map before you were even born. Oh. Uh, so. Pian News, Edward 
No, it's probably the New York Times or something. Drop papers off from businesses like Edward Jones. Um, this H and R Block. On the back one. I got a lot of, a lot of money. I was struggling to make it in Grand Rapids. I worked a lot, so I got enough money to pay rent for a month. Sounds pretty fucking pathetic, but it was. Oatmeal Studios. I just like checking this stuff out. I know the camera's not going to pick up Jack, but. What is it that we love about neon? Lights. Colorful lights. Signals in our brain saying sunrise, sunset, get up, hide, be active. For the times they are changing. That doesn't sound right. Didn't quite get the harmonica down. Down. Get the harmonica down. Unlimited data. Unlimited entertainment. Now including HBO? Fuck off. Fuck off. Seriously. Who do you want HBO on your phone? <coughs> fucking desperate. Old fucking dinosaurs. Fucking die already. It's a shame though that they're not, isn't it? Fucking YouTube. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I guarantee little sidebars. It's been showing up. Hey, watch this little bit from CBS. Hey, watch this little bit from NBC. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going this way. What? Uh, crossing. Crossing M32. Bagley. Um, am I going to go to Myers? Get some energy? I think I've got some energy. I think I didn't need to get any more of this water. It's doing the trick. Just getting me through. Just barely. Just barely. What is it? 333, 33, 24. Ugh. I'm sorry. Sorry, if you watch anything I do and you watch the things you enjoy. I'm getting goofy and stupid and that's not what you want. Because everybody else is goofy and stupid on the internet, aren't they? Either that or they got to get angry at everything. Right? Because fucking Orion... It's not winter yet. Go back down. Get below the horizon right now. Oh, I love seeing Gemini. No, I don't. What am I saying? Gosh. No, but I do. I love winners in Alpena. <clears throat> you know, walking like this in the middle of the night. You know, Orion, Gemini, the twins, they are my three friends. But there's so many, so many of them up there, and it feels so good. I think that probably plays another sort of thing, you know. People saw these little stick figures and stuff, and, uh, you know, Orion. And, uh, and then they said, you know, that kind of looks like a guy, you know, like you're standing there. 
Well, that kind of looks like two people standing together. Now, adults can say that. And they can say, it kind of looks like that. And then from then, they can say, Orion. Or they can say, the twins. And they know what they're talking about, right? But now, if a child overhears some adults talking about things like that, ooh, dude, it is a whole different story. Now, that child can then grow up having a sort of different perspective. And it can talk differently. They, they can talk differently about these objects in the sky. You know, these, these people in the sky. And then, you know, I hope you get what I'm, where I'm going with this. Like, you think about this over thousands of generations. You know, at first, you got just some simple, very, very simple people. You know, and they've got to express to each other. Like, one of them. Some, someone, someone was the first. Now, there may have been multiple in multiple locations, but let's just, for the sake of uh, this conversation here, let's just imagine it was one person, and from him, all the other people came to know uh, that these collections of stars resembled people. <clears throat> now just imagine passing that information on. Imagine, imagine being that information. I said, I said many hours ago, or two hours ago, um, how I like to see things a little differently, like about, you know, if humans reproduce like frogs, you know, what that would be like, how would we uh, incorporate that in? Or uh, what would have been different? You know, how would how would our civilization be different if everything else was the same except that we just happen to reproduce the same way frogs do? Um, you know, I just like I just like imagining, you know, just like like doing it somewhere in public. You know, like just like a public pool or something. All the guys go there every once in a while. Everybody comes in there, and then and women go swimming and stuff, you know? I don't know. This, now, what I really know is how strange that seems to other people. Because they haven't really thought about it. And uh, it's entertaining. Maybe a good, good comedy routine or something. Something like that, you know? You could do a whole... whole... Uh, like a five-minute act or something. Whatever the hell they're called. Um, but no, I like I like thinking differently. But imagine, imagine you are information being passed on from generation to generation. Conscious of, of the process. That you're going through. Um, would you be, and it's difficult, difficult because you gotta kind of be divided up. Maybe a lot more difficult for us today than it will be for people at some point in the future if there is ever a cloning or some kind of a consciousness transfer. Um, bit by bit, sort of, neuron by neuron, and you're aware uh, of the other versions of you, my goodness, we're going to miss out on so much, you know, and when you think, when you think deep into the future, um, in this case, I'm only thinking probably a couple of thousand years, um, Optimistically, a uh, hundred or a couple hundred, but realistically, 
Probably thousands if ever. Maybe we go down another road. Some uh, other options. But uh, I think something similar to that may very well happen. Three, and they're going. At the rate, you know, the subjects that we're studying and um, putting to use computers and the internet and uh, biological technology. You know, it's a possibility, an option. So, so. Uh oh, there goes my second wind. My second light is dimming. Please. Gotta get a third. Please. A third. A light blinking in the sky. Oh boy. This is Alpena High School. That's what Alpena High School looks like. Huh? Whatever day it is, the week, whatever time it is. I don't know. The Ryan is right above it. That looks pretty cool. Ryan and Taurus. Most people know Orion. I've I've found in my time with people. And most people know Ryan, but not so many people know Taurus. People who are interested in astronomy generally know Taurus. And I mean even a passing interest, just the mildest interest, you know. But uh, yeah. a lot of people, oh, I don't know what I Can I talk about something else? Anyway, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll carry on, I'll finish this, um, but no, if, if, if I meet people, the first thing I generally mention, as far as constellation goes, is the Big Dipper, which isn't even a constellation, okay. I stress that some more. The Big Dipper is not a constellation. It is an asterisk. It is a recognizable pattern of stars. And it's uh, generally part of a greater constellation. But not necessarily a single constellation. Because the Summer Triangle and the Winter Triangle, they are both asterisms. So they are shaped, but uh, each of them, each star in the triangle is a part uh, yeah. Step. Charlie the unicorn jumped the step. But you didn't want to hear that.
Oh, flipped. Flip the camera around. Ooh, where is it? It's up there. Severe show weakness. That's the real strength. Bullshit. Oh, man. What else? What else? What else? I was about to run out, though. Tell you what. Ahead of time, when this one runs out. Now I'll turn it on again. It's already, it's going to take me like, I don't know, six hours just to get these videos up. I hate when that happens. Oh my goodness, a deer. A deer running right by Phoenix High School. There's one, there's often another. It's pretty cool though. Just a female. I wish she wouldn't have like struggled so much to get across the road. It always makes me feel bad like I kind of startled him. You know, like it didn't need to walk.